Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and today I'll be giving you a quick tutorial on how to apply falsies. My lashes are very stubborn and they do not like to be curled. So these are a couple of the tips that I've like learned throughout that I've just like invented, I guess myself or like I've seen throughout other videos that just work best for me. So then I'm just hope you guys learn something and learn how to apply your own lashes and get more comfortable and confident doing that and um don't forget this to give this video a thumbs up like you think i'm playing when i'm talking about my baby hairs but they're really there anyway okay so to start um i just want to point out the fact that i did all my makeup off camera i even did um i applied my like setting spray i set everything down because my eyelashes are so annoying that they're like straighter than like my hair i guess and when I apply like the setting spray or like if I cry or if I'm sweating or anything, my lashes automatically go from like curled to like, it's like straight, but they're like down. So um, I like to prevent that by just setting the setting spray on now. I know a lot of people, a lot of makeup artists, what they do is they like put their lashes on, they do the rest of their makeup and then they put setting spray, but I can't really do that. Unless I want to have like my lashes and my falsies be two separate like lashes and I'll just have like all these wings in my eyes. But anyway. Okay, to curl my lashes, I actually have a eyelash curler. It's from Revlon. I actually got it at Walmart. Um, they're really cheap. I don't really like, I'm not into like getting like really expensive like eyelash curlers. Like they all do the same thing to me. So I do frequently like buy new ones, I guess, like every like month, month and a half, maybe even two months. Just because like the inside of it, like the spongy part, I guess, gets really worn out and squishy. And if it does get worn out and squishy, that doesn't really curl my eyelashes as well as I want them to. So I have to like regularly keep, um, buying new ones I guess yeah so I'm gonna just curl my eyelashes regularly and I like to hold it and just like squish my eyelashes because they are really hard to curl and like I said you guys will see when I apply my mascara um they're gonna just you're gonna see it curled for like two seconds and then by the time i get done with the other eye they're just gonna be straight again and it's just so annoying that's why i really like to use falsies even when i'm not doing like a heavy like makeup look like today's like today is a really like simple look and i just use my uh, my, my falsies because my lashes are just so annoying so you see like the curl for um, mascara, I like to use a Ma Ma Maybelline Lash Sensational. I also got this at Walmart. This spoolie kind of looks like this. And it's brand new, so it picks, it picks up a lot of product right away. And then I start like inside my eyelid up. I don't really like to use, to put a lot of product on the edges of my eyelashes. Just because I'll make them heavy and like I said, they'll just fall again. You see, you can even tell, like, they look so pretty like that, but it doesn't really last. And then I put mascara on my lower lash line. Like that. And then I just do the same steps with my other eye. Like that, you see now they're just like, they kind of have fallen. Like they're not as curled as they were originally. So now I kind of let it dry a little bit. So either I just go and finish on my lips or I finish my makeup, or my makeup, my outfit, or I do my hair while my um, the mascara on my lashes actually dry up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna do my hair off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now that my mascara is a little bit uh, drier, I'm gonna go on and I actually, I'm gonna put glue on my falsies. And I would like to explain how um, you could tell what side the lashes goes in what eye, I guess, if that makes sense. So the way that I could tell is 
So you see how like on this edge over here on your, here, I'm gonna try to see like this. So on this side, it's like less of a hair and they, they don't go as far as the inner corn, inner side of the eyelash. And then on this side, it's like longer. So that's how you know. On the longer one, you want it to be on the edge of your eyes because that's gonna give you like the wisp, the like the dramatic look, I guess. And if you do it the other way, it's gonna look shorter here and they're just not gonna look very natural because naturally your eyelashes are longer on the outer corner than they are on the inner corner. So then that's how you really tell. And it all depends on like the style of the lashes. Some lashes, they're like long all the way through. So you can't really tell. It doesn't really make a difference whether you put like the left um, eyelash in the right eye or vice versa. So then for lashes, I don't really use very expensive lashes. I get them um, like they're drugstore lashes. They're probably like $3, $4. Or if there's a pack of three, they're probably like six, seven. It all depends on the brand. Um, but I, I always like to just keep it simple and not spend too much because sometimes I do accidentally like misplace them or they get they do get ruined so I don't really like to spend a lot of money on that. For glue I use the duo glue um in clear. It looks like this can there you go. Um I switched up like the glues that I would use. Back then I would use like like it'd be like the black liquid and it'd be the kind that you like press on and that didn't really work out for me so I think the clear is what is best um, for my preference just because sometimes like I don't have like eyeliner or anything on my eyes and I do end up like placing it like too up like too high above my actual lashes that like the black uh, glue gets all over my eye and it just ruins the eye look so then what I did, I just placed um, a thin layer of glue on the actual band of the lashes. And I think I'm gonna... You wanna focus on the outer and inner corner of those lashes just because you don't want them to like pop out or like start unsticking. So what I do is I blow on it for a little bit and then I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And then I'm gonna just like let it dry just a little more. You don't wanna apply your falsies on right after you apply the glue, just because the glue is still wet and it's, they're just gonna be like moving all around and you're not gonna be able to set them in the actual spot that you want to. What I do is I like to place the inner, like the inside of it first and then focus on the edges. Um, it just helps me like put them in the right spot that I want them, and then it'll help me just gradually move to the corners. So now that I, you see that, like how pretty is that? Now that they're a little dry, I'm just gonna go on ahead, and I kind of twisted my mirror like upward, so I have like a up view of myself, and then I just place them in that inner most part of my eye like that. You see how like you could tell that this eye is just like popping up. And you take your tweezers and you grab and you just place it on there like that. And you do the same thing to the outer corner. Like that. See and like these lashes I bought at Walmart and you can't really tell like what brand they are because like they do the same thing. like. Honestly. And there's all different sorts of styles that you could get. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. I'm going to take my lash and I'm just going to put some glue on the band. Let it dry for a little bit, curl my lashes, and then just place them. You don't want to put too much glue on it because it will take forever to dry. And you kind of want to dry it when you have them on, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to 
front curl. And the curling, like the second time that I curl my eyelashes, is just so that they like kind of support my falsies, if that makes sense. And the glue on my falsies will technically glue on to my, like the inner part of my own lashes. And once again, I'm gonna try to like stay closer. I'm gonna place it in the middle. I don't know if you could tell you probably can't tell there's like glue on my actual like makeup so then since it's like clear it'll just like dry off but if it were like black glue like it'll just ruin my whole makeup <gasps> on good days i can put my lashes on without tweezers but you know, just to be safe today. And then you kind of want to take your tweezers and then like sandwich in both your own lashes and the falsies just so that you won't really have like a separation between the two. Sometimes I do it with the tweezers. You can also do it with your fingers. But right now I have uh, acrylics on so that won't really help. You kind of just go all over your eye and you just grab it and you just squish them together. And like with this, it's just like a lot of practice. Like you have to practice, practice, and practice in order to get it right. And that's mainly why I like have been stuck on using like drugstore eyelashes because uh, that's how I practice. I didn't buy like $25 worth like lashes to just practice with because that's just crazy to me. Um, I like to just stick with like the cheapest so I, I can master the idea of it and even now that I, like, I'm like secure about how the way I put my lashes on I don't really buy them like expensive because just like like I figured they do the same thing so and that's it see this one is kind of jumping around so you kind of want to just grab and place them like that And another big tip that I can give you guys is to always carry your glue and your tweezers with you because you never know, like you might be having like a long day and you just, I don't know, notice in the mirror that like your lashes are popping out. Like it happens to me all the time at work where I just like feel it. I could feel like I'm moving a lot. So I'm like, damn, like I have to go into the bathroom to check and yeah, like I have to fix my lashes. So like always carry like their glue and your tweezers if you have lashes on because it'll just like save your life. And also like you can save someone else's life. Like I had my coworker earlier this week ask me if I had glue and lashes and um, tweezers because her lashes were like popping out. So it just is something to just carry with you. I always carry it just like I carry my chapstick with me all the time. I carry my glue and my uh, tweezers because it's just like it's a necessary thing. Like you don't want to have like your lashes flying all over the place when like you're on a date or you're at work or you're just doing your thing like you just don't want that you know anyway guys that's it for today's video i have to get going to school i hope you enjoyed this little quick um tutorial on how to apply your lashes and i hope you learned a thing or two um using this video so i'll see you guys next time i'll try to post as much as i can and i apologize for being so absent but i have a couple ideas um in mind for uh, upcoming videos so I'll, I'll see you guys then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscription button bye